Tonight, Roger Keane brings you Storytime with Roger, Episode 3. This time, Roger tells the story of his first girlfriend. I'm just fucking with you. Uh, it's Roger. And bringing, this is a game of domination on Skid Row. Yes. And it's a pretty beast game. Except this guy steals my kill with a triple. But kudos for him. Whatever. Uh, so anyway, story time. This is story time, episode 3. Episode 2 and 1 have been well received. Uh, I'm gonna be honest, this one's not as exciting as the other ones. Uh, I'm trying to save, you know, I, I'm trying to pace myself on these these stories so I can actually keep them going for a while. That's why I'm not doing them too, too often. But anyway, this story is about my very first girlfriend. Uh, this app, my very first girlfriend I got when I was 18. And this may be hard for you guys to believe, but I was quite the dork in high school. Not too successful with the ladies. Uh, I was, you know, a dork in the, in the bad way. Now, now I'm a dork in all the good ways, and so that's, that's good. But anyway, uh, my first girlfriend, I was 18, and I met her at a show, show that my band had played, um, we played, we were one of the first bands that were playing, we were playing in this, uh, old abandoned movie theater, which was pretty cool, um, I had actually seen movies in that theater as a kid, it was in my hometown. And after the, sh not after the show, but after we performed, you know, like when other bands were playing, I was uh, hanging out with some friends, and a friend of mine was like, hey, you should meet my other friend, Clarissa. And I was like, oh, of course, you know, I met a lot of people at shows. Uh, I met a lot of friends that I'm friends with today uh, through shows, and so I meet her. And she's this blonde girl. Uh, she's pretty fun. And we ended up hanging out the uh, the rest of the night and had a lot of had a lot of fun. We had a really good time. Um, she, uh, I don't know. It was it was it was fun. We didn't hang out like specifically like I'd go watch a band come out and we'd like chat. Uh, we ended up kissing by the end of the night, and you know things were pretty good. And we started hanging out. We uh, hung out for like a week or so. And things were going really well, and I was like, I asked her out. Cause, and I had never asked anyone out before. Uh, and this was like the first girl that was actually like paying attention to me and actually like specifically enjoying my company. And apparently she was also kind of like seeing this other guy. Um, not like dating or anything, but like hanging out kind of the same way she was with, we, with me. And... Uh... Since I, when I asked her, she said she'd think about it, and she decided that she wanted to be with me. And so we hung out for for quite a bit, not quite a bit. Uh, we were seeing each other. Things were going great. Um, after a little, after a little while, you know, I wasn't really feeling it with her. Like I never really felt any romantic attachment to her. It was kind of just this girl really likes me and she enjoys hanging out with me so that was awesome but the novelty of that kind of wore off after like two weeks and the last week that we were dating um, like we didn't get to see each other too too much um, oh what I forgot to mention um, she was 16 and I was 18 at the time uh, and I was still in high school and she was in the intermediate high school and she would walk over to the high school and we would hang out like while we waited for the bus and stuff like that and like we would hung out a few times and this one one particular night uh, I picked her up and I was hanging out with uh, me her uh, and my good friend Justin and girl he was dating at the time and we went out to eat and the whole night, Clarissa was just kind of, like, pissing me off. Like, not, not like, angry, but she was just kind of getting on my nerves a little bit. And, you know, like, I, I didn't... I was planning on breaking up with her, because I, I, I wasn't really 
enjoying the relationship. But anyway, we were hanging out the rest of the night, and we ended up going to this public park around uh, 2 in the morning. And we were just hanging out in the public park, and um, this uh, car pulled in near us, and we looked up, and this car, or someone got out, and they shined a flashlight in the window, and I'm like, holy shit, that's a cop. <laughs> and the cop comes, and he starts yelling at us, be like, hey man, you can't be here, this is a public park, and it's 2 in the morning, you're not allowed to be here. And so I was like, uh, yeah. So we took all our, our all our ages and uh, mine and Justin's IDs because we had them. And he, uh, I was the only one who was pretty much allowed to be out that late because I was over 18. My friend Justin was 17. And so he had to call rides for everybody else because apparently I wasn't allowed to take them home or anything like that. And he had to, like, call all their parents and shit like that. But anyway, like, I didn't, he, he took Clarissa's age, and, or, like, her birthday, and I didn't think anything of it, and then he turns to me, and he says, an 18-year-old with a 14-year-old, you better watch out for statutory rape, son. And I was like, wait, what? I find out she fucking lied to me about her age this whole time. She she had told me she was 16, and I find out from a cop that she is 14. And I'm like, oh, God. Anyway, the cop takes her home, and I go home all by myself, just thinking to myself, I'm like, what the fuck happened? How did this happen? And the next morning, her mom calls me. She's like, you stay away from my daughter. I don't want you anywhere near my daughter ever again. And I was like, don't worry. Because I don't have any plans on going near your daughter ever again. And she didn't have a phone at the time. And so she would like try to find ways to call, contact me. And that, like she was kind, she, kind of shady about a lot of things. Which was a bit weird. And she called me like the next day. And she's like, just because you know my parents don't want us to see each other doesn't mean we can't be together, right? I'm like, I don't want to be with you. You, you lied to me about your age. I really don't want to be with you. And she, she was like heartbroken. This girl was seriously in love with me. And I'm going to blame it on her being 14. Um, that's what I think. <laughs> but like she started stalking me a little bit. Not too, too much. Not as compared to like some other people. But she would show up at my, uh, at my job. Uh, I used to work at a pizza place. She would show up there several times. But the weirdest thing she did is she, she called me a few times. But the one time she called me at about 3 in the morning. And she pretended to be someone else. She's like, oh, you don't know who this is. But I met you at a show a while back. And I was like, how did you get my number? And she's like, oh, your friend Alex gave it to me. I'm like, Alex doesn't have my phone number. And she started crying. She's like, oh, I'm real embarrassed. And then she hung up. I was like, what the fuck? And that happened a few times. Not like that, but she had called me and like hung up. One, another weird thing she did. One time uh, I was hanging out with this one girl. And she had a picture of me um, like beside her TV. And she was friends with Clarissa also. And Clarissa went to her house. And she saw the picture and was like, she picked it up and apparently started crying. And was like, he was my first love. You know, that was my first relationship ever, which kind of ruined it for me. And we dated for three total weeks. That was my longest relationship. Cause because of that, it's kind of like killed it for me. I'm still working on that, trying to uh, get things back on track, even though that was four years ago. But anyway, that was the end of story time. Let me know what you guys thought. Let me know what questions you have about it. And uh, let me know what you think. Click that thumbs up. Uh, and I will talk to you guys later. Peace out.